in this episode, I'm going to show you how we can use PySpark to read and analyze Unity catalog schemas and tables in Databricks Notebook. Let's take a look. In my organization, I've got these three namespace Cornerstone, Databricks, Unity catalog. And then I've got this DIM product schema that is holding this product table. And I've got this F sales schema that is all in this F sales table. So we want to write the PySpark to read the data from the two tables. Now, before you dive in, it's important you have your unit catalog set up, and then you must have your schemas and the table inside each of the schemas. So this is sorted in my case. Now, the second thing to do is to ensure you have your computer running. So in my case, I've got this my cluster computer, which is running. So we can go ahead and create a notebook. Now, in the notebook, we're going to use two variables. Now, the first variable is going to be df underscore sales. Now, I'm going to use that to read the data from the sales table of the f-sales schema in the unit catalog in my organization. Now, the second variable is going to be df underscore product. It's going to be reading data from the product table of the DIM product schema of the same unit catalog. So let's go ahead and write the code. I'm going to come here and do df underscore sales equals spark dot read dot table and then i'm going to open the bracket so inside double quote i'm going to type in the name of the unit catalog cornerstone databricks dot and i'm going to provide the name of the schema so i want to call this f sales schema so i'm going to type that in here f sales schema dot and the name of the table is sales so i'm going to type in that here sales and i can just copy this to make it easier and faster so ctrl c and then Ctrl V. So this is going to be DF product. And for the name of the schema, this is going to be DIM product underscore schema. And the name of the table is product. So I'm going to double click and type in product. So this aligned properly. Now we can use the display function to display each of these data. So I'm going to type in display and open the bracket let's start with df underscore sales and use the limit to just limit to maybe five rows so limit to only five and control enter to run so this gave us the five first record from the df sales that is the sales table now let's do the same thing for the df product so i'm just going to copy this and control v to paste amazing so we can see we are able to successfully read the data from the unit catalog schemas the tables now this is brilliant now we will go ahead and perform total sales by products in this notebook so i'm going to scroll down and then create a new code of cell so for this i'm going to from the PySpark dot sql we want to import functions as f and then press enter now i'm just going to create a variable i'm going to call this one sales by product and equals i'm going to open the bracket now in order to make it easier i'm just going to write the code and then i'm going to indent the code so first we want to call the df underscore sales table so df underscore sales and i'm going to use the dot join function now for the join i'm going to open the bracket and then i want to join that with the df underscore product table and then we're going to provide the name of the column that is going to match across the two table so comma so again i'm going to do df underscore sales and open the square bracket now for the square bracket i'm going to point to the product column because these are the same column across the two tables so product inside this double quote and i'm going to come in and use equals equals and i want to check the product column also in the df product table so df and i'm going to call the product table open the square bracket is a double quote i'm going to type in the name of the table and i'm going to come in and put in a comma and specify the kind of join so in this going to use the inner join so i'm going to type it inside this double quote inner and i'm going to press enter so i'm going to use the dot group by function and open the brackets so i'm going to point to the product column from the df product table so df and i'm going to call the product table open a square bracket inside double quotes i'm going to type in product column and then we can use the dot aggregate function and open a bracket i'm going to use the f that we define in our import the library so dot sum function and then for the function i want to sum the sales column coming from the df sales table so df sales 
open a square bracket and open a double quote I want to call the sales column and carefully I'm going to come here put in the dot and use the alias and open another bracket inside the double quote I'm going to call this one total sales and this is all we need to do I can just get rid of some of the rows here and I can press enter so we can use the display function to display the sales by product so sales by product and control enter to run amazing so this gave us the total sales by product and this is super cool what about if we want to visualize this result as i've talked about in my previous video i'm going to click on this plus sign and then we can use the visualization and this automatically create for me a bar chart so we can see this year we have this new chart on and then we have the list of the products and then we have the values in the x-axis so once i'm done i can click on save and i can double click i can just give this a meaningful name total sales by products and i can get rid of the one and then press enter so we have the visualization and then when i click on this i can go back to the table so this is how we can use the PySpark language to read and analyze data from unity catalogs table in databricks notebook i trust you in this video if you do like comment share and follow me for more videos thank you for watching bye for now